Welcome to the Carnival Conquest. We're going to take a tour of this entire ship from the top down. This ship has almost 1,500 staterooms on 13 decks. And this ship has a lot to offer. I like to start at the very top. So we're headed to deck 14. This is the Serenity Adults Only Area. And this is two decks with two hot tubs and a lot of loungers. This is also the deck with the entrance to the slide and the ship's coin. All right, and we're gonna head down to deck 12. And this is the other Serenity deck. There are a lot of chairs and there's also a bar on this level. This is a really fun place to hang out when there's shade and there's a breeze and you have to check out this great view. All right, and we're gonna head inside on deck 12. This is where the kids club is at the very end and they have an outside playground as well. All right, and here's the other side of the ship on deck 12. We're gonna head to deck 11 and outside you'll be able to see all of the mini decks for all those sunbathers and it's a great view of the pool deck. Inside on deck 11 is the spa and fitness center. And they do have a steam room and a sauna. Back outside on deck 11, we're gonna head down to deck 10, past these mini sun decks. And down here, they do have a pool and a hot tub. And deck 10 will take you all the way to the back of the ship with walkways on both sides of the pool deck. At the back of the ship, we're going to head up to deck 11, which is where you're going to find the jogging track. When you follow this around, you'll also find a sports court with basketball and a mini golf. There's also a sun deck up on deck 12, and this has an amazing view of the pool deck. At the back of deck 11, you're gonna find a view of the aft pool. And we're gonna head back to deck 10. This is at the aft of the ship and this is really a great place to take some pictures. It also overlooks the pool and hot tubs on deck nine. Inside on deck 10 is the old fashioned barbecue right above the buffet, the Lido marketplace down below. Outside on deck 10, there are plenty of loungers and places to sit. And all the way at the other end, if you go inside on the elevator lobby, that's where you're gonna find the steakhouse.
All right, and down to deck nine. This is the pool deck. A lot of things happen here. There's some food to eat. You have Blue Iguana Cantina, which is tacos and burritos, and guys, burgers. And of course, we have a couple of bars. All right, and heading inside, we're gonna find the buffet. There are some food options here. Of course, you have the general food, but you also have the deli, and you have sushi, and you have the Mongolian wok. All right, at the aft of the ship, past the buffet, you're gonna find the aft pool. And this is where you're gonna have your pizza and your seafood, and there's a pool bar out here as well. All right, and deck eight, seven, and six are mostly cabin decks, but you will find a secret viewing area on six and seven. All right, we're gonna head back inside on deck five, and this is the theater at the front of the ship. You can access this theater on three, four, and five. And right outside of the theater, you're gonna find the atrium. This is a three-level atrium, and of course, the elevator lobbies that go all the way up to the top of the ship. And around the atrium, you're gonna find lots of shops and also the sports bar. The casino is also on deck five. And this connects the promenade all the way to the back of the ship. You're gonna find a lot of different things on this level. Let's check out the casino. The casino also has a bar and there's a stage for live music, which is really fun at night. Past the casino, there's a shop for merchandise and also the coffee shop is right here. and you'll find chairs along this whole promenade, which is a really nice place to hang out. Next up is the Teen Club.
The teen club is also connected to the arcade where you can enter from the promenade as well. Right next door is the nightclub, and this place can get pretty loud and crazy at night, but can be kind of fun. And past the nightclub, you're gonna find the alchemy bar for your handcrafted cocktails. And beyond that, you're gonna find the piano bar, which is a lot of fun. And also there's a couple more clubs at the back, including where they do comedy. One last thing, if you're enjoying the nightlife here on the ship on deck five by the clubs, there is a restroom here hidden in this hallway. So just keep that in mind. It's really convenient to the club and to all the fun in the back of the ship. And now moving to deck four, here's the atrium. It's right next to the theater. And of course, around the atrium is the library. You have stairs to go up or down from the atrium and down this hallway is the main dining room and the kids club. And also next to the atrium is the photo center. All right, and speaking of photos, I noticed a lot of art on this ship and it's great. You're gonna see it on the ceiling and on the walls. Very interesting. You can also access deck four from the promenade on deck five, and this is gonna take you down to the little club. They do little events here like Build-A-Bear and of course the quest games, but it's a fun little spot. And on the very end on this deck is a dining room. All right, and down to deck three. This is the lower level of the theater. Right outside of the theater is the atrium on deck three. There's a bar here and also shore excursions and guest services. They have a stage and many times there's live music. There's a lot of fun in this area. Really comfortable seating.
And on the very end is the dining room. This is the lower level of the main dining room. You can also go outside on deck three. There is some seating and of course it's a great view. And lastly, we're gonna take a look at an interior stateroom. I found this to be quite roomy. There is a lot of storage. And I do like that they have USB charging by the bed. Also, when the lights are off, if you get out of bed, there's a motion detector that will turn on a tiny little light underneath the cabinet, which is kind of a cool feature. And that concludes my tour of the Carnival Conquest. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon.